The first week of June is Pet Appreciation Week, and we have a look at a new creative way to honor your favorite furry companions and explore your artistic side. Rupa Kale and Valerie Boothby of the Bottle and Bottega Studio in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, are here to tell us all about the Paint Your Pet event. So, Valerie, this is, this is the first time I've heard of this. Rupa, you own the studio. How did you come up with this? Um, Bottle and Bottega is a national franchise. We're all across the country. We're located in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. Uh, Paint a Pet event is just a really popular uh, event where people bring in a picture of their pet and we teach them how to transfer it on canvas. And it's really fun and we decided to turn it into a fundraiser to benefit our neighbors across the street, Home for Good Dog Rescue. And how did that partnership come about? So Home for Good Dog Rescue is right across the street from us. We partnered with them when we had our grand opening uh, last July. Uh, they're just a terrific organization. They rehome rescued dogs and so we thought it would be a great way to benefit uh, them by painting uh, for people to come and paint their pets. And now some of you at home might be panicking right now thinking I have no idea how to paint and that's where Valerie comes in. Yes. Valerie, you're the art instructor so show me how you guide people through here. Okay. We have a, a sort of a loose portrait of my yes. pet. We have a little bunny named Frank at home. So kind of guide me through the process of how you walk people through this. Okay, so normally we would give you a pencil and eraser to start with and you would sketch out a basic shape of your pet. Very, very basic. The outer shell of him. Just basic shapes. And then we go in and we start to paint the background. So I want you to take your medium brush okay. right here. Medium and you're going to give that a nice blot on your rag. Got it. Okay, and we're going to make a nice bright color for the background. Really want it to pop because okay. it's black and white. So you're going to take a little scoop of yellow and you're going to plop that off right to the side. We're going to make a bright lime green. Okay. okay. So got some yellow in there, yep. some blue a in there. A little more. Oh, and then more you're going to do a, a scoop of green and plop that in there okay. and mix them all around. And you're going to get a beautiful lime green. Awesome. Good there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay so now you're so going to just doing the background. Yes, just the background for now. So you're going to go in with this bright lime green and just start painting away. It's like the opposite of kindergarten. You're coloring outside and the lines. Yeah. I think and this I can do. We can even switch you to a bigger brush. We'll cover a little more space okay. there. I'm going to give you that one there. And so go right ahead. So we would fill in the whole the whole background area sort of around the outline of the rabbit, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, how how strictly do we have to adhere to these rules? What if I mess up and I color inside the lines? So if you color inside later? the lines, that's what we're here for. We use a technique called dry brushing and we get the paint right off and we actually teach you oh, how to I, do it. So in case along the way beautiful. that you find that you go in the lines, we get you all seasoned you how to fix it. Mistakes. Yeah, it's water-based acrylic. So it's very, very forgiving paint, especially for beginners. So okay, and then when we get to the inside part, so, then yes. that becomes more complicated. Yes, so you know your bunny. So he's black and white. So the parts where that are white, we would start with first. So you start with the lighter colors. Okay. So we give your group, your big brush a rinse here in your water cup. Nice blot. Always make sure you blot. Okay, and we're going to start with some white, just plain white. white. And anywhere where he's white, you're going to start filling in with some white paint. This there. little stripey yes. here. Yeah. And he's white right here. He's got some white on his paws. So, so people come in and they they can either do this by memory or they can actually refer specifically to we, a photo. So this, I actually sent you guys a photo for you to come up with the original sketch. So you guys had an idea of what he looked like. Yes, but. so we usually when people come in, we ask that they uh, bring in a picture of their pet and then we use that as a reference guide uh, to help them paint it. Okay, he's got little white tips on his paws. There you go. I mean, I'm doing a pretty lousy job. No, here. you're doing Fantastic. a terrific job. You guys might be able to fix it. <laughs> And then we paint the black part with the yes, same brush. Yes, so you're going to give that a good rinse. Blotting. Yep, you're going to rinse and blot. And then you're going to go in with your black. Wherever he's black, you're going to start filling him in. So around his head, his ears, and also his back end, you'd fill him with your black. Okay. And then you would go in way later. Once we got all our basic colors filled in, that's when you go in, you add the eye and the texture of the fur, and we really fluff him out toward the end. Oh, fun. So the whole trick is to get this nice basic. So we're just starting with the basics, but then you're going to go in and actually make this look a little bit nicer than yeah, I am going to be able to. We take you step by step from beginning to end. And I'm, I mean, I'm doing this whole thing kind of quickly just to get the idea, but this this is a, how long does this event normally take? It's two and a half hours long, and so we um, sketch, and it's very social. People are drinking while uh, they're painting. We're BYOB, and we're full service studio, so people usually bring a bottle of wine, so there's a big social element attached to it. And people can bring food, and Absolutely. So everyone's kind of hanging out and while they're doing this. Yes, all. and it takes two and a half hours, and it dries almost instantly. By the time you walk to your car, it will have completely dried. And I understand you actually have a finished 
project of we Frank. Do. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's got a little crown on his head and everything. Yeah. He's the king. How, it's <laughs> amazing that you guys are able to turn something that basic into something. So, it, I mean, it really looks like him. It re <laughs> he is adorable, so it was a lot of fun, and we figured we gave him a little crown so he'd be a king. Oh, that's But so it fun. really is, you know, once you get the basic colors down, we really guide you to uh, do all the detail work on oh, it. Oh, well, it sounds like a really fun event. Thank you guys yeah. so much for coming in. Thank and of course, so it goes much. to benefit a great cause yes. as well. And you can check out the first event is tomorrow at 2 p.m. and every Monday throughout the month. For more information, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.